Good morning, Park Tool Company. Customer service, this is Calvin. How can I help you? Yeah, hi, I can't seem to get my bottom bracket to come out. What, what happened? What you did, what? Well, I tried the one tool, but that wasn't working, so I thought I just whacked it with a hammer. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. T turn it to the, to the right. What do you mean? To the right. Oh, no, no, you're, the you're, you're right. To, oh, to your... I see. yeah. Yep. Oh, okay, better? Okay, yeah, okay. that did it, that did it. Hey, well, Thanks guys, for I calling. a question about what kind of bike. <sighs> Boy. Park Tool Company, we enjoy watching mechanics, getting feedback from all sorts of mechanics, and sometimes we just gotta say, some of us are sometimes using the tool the wrong way. We could all learn from our mistakes and remembering the basics. So, today we're gonna cover five different ways that you can use your Park Tool tools better. Tool engagement to the part is very important. And sometimes the component part is skinny and there's not much to grab. For example, this tool fits on this rotor lock ring, fits nicely, but that's pretty skinny. Turning that, it's easy for that to come off. Firing the tool, firing this, making you sad. So, we're going to use some downward force, at least from your hand. Now, downward pressure keeps it engaged. Now I can loosen it. That's called tool purchase or tool engagement. Get some. Sometimes I want us to straighten up and use this straight. Basic, simple, yes. Get in the habit of straight in line with the threads. We engage the screw tip, even this JIS compatible tip is intended to be straight. If you're off a little bit, you're being sloppy and quick, it can cam out. So keep it straight to the heart of things. Tool selection, another thing that's important, like crank removers. We have two choices, basic choices, this large foot and this small swivel foot. First, the foot. The foot needs to be smaller than the hole in the arm. Oh yeah, it fits through. That's great, it's smaller. But this one, also smaller. Hmm. Square spindle. This foot, not smaller. Large foot, not appropriate for the square spindle. The smaller foot does go through. Okay, that's part one. Part two, as important, is the bolt that's in the spindle. The foot needs to be larger than the bolt. So, we have a bolt here on the small swivel. Oh, not appropriate. The bolt is much bigger than the swivel foot. Check this one. Ah, the foot, bigger. That's going to be appropriate. What happens? You break this little rule, you can take the small swivel foot, try and pull the arm and end up like this poor bottom bracket. That is the foot that came off the tool, is now jammed and pressed into the threads. It's never coming out. This is now a lovely paper weight, not a bottom bracket anymore. So, tool choice matters. Remember that. Sometimes it's a matter of not tool choice, but what sprocket you use. What do you, what do you mean? Let's give them an example. Okay. If you grab way up at the big sprockets, your hands are really wide. That's really awkward. Grab a smaller sprocket. There, the hands in a more powerful position holding. Now I can get this off easily. That is how it can be done. Use your tool placement to make you strong. Let's think of this. I see a lot of people doing this. They put the wrench here. They put a hand here and they're trying to tighten it. It doesn't work. What you're doing literally is fighting with yourself. Don't do that. Bring the two levers closer together. I am begging you to consider 
displacement. I put this here, I have a lever. That's a wrench. This other crank is my other tool. You get two wrenches with this in use. Now, that's good leverage. Removal or tightening, two levers close together is good. Far apart, not so good. So think about your tool placement. Yes, okay, yes. No, 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 go to yeah, number three. Right. Number three there. Scrub along the climb line. Stop scrub. at number three. I think that's what's going on. Okay. Okay, give, give that a try. Now, when you're done watching, sure. go to the comments below, comments, comments below. and put some comments tool below. misuses that you've seen. Yeah, yeah, what? right down there in the comments. Go ahead and type them in. That, and then hit, then you hit enter. Okay, well, what, that's great. What, you want to enter again? And you too. Go to the comments below and tell us what sort of tool misuses you've seen. And we'll see you. I've got to take this. Calvin Jones, Park Tool Company, can I help you? Can you